Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. This is episode 10, playing through my first time on the British campaign in Ultimate Admiral Age of Sail. And uh, if you did not see the first nine episodes, there's a link in the description below that will take you all the way back to episode one. And as always, I would appreciate if you would drop a like, leave a comment, and watch the video all the way to the end. Those are the three things you can do to help this channel the most and help get the word out about this game to the most people. Uh, I've gone ahead and put three points into prices uh, here with the career points that I have that's going to dramatically reduce uh, the cost that... Uh, that I have to spend on various things, and I think that's going to get the most bang for my buck. We're going to uh, take a look at what we have available to us right now, and there's a couple of things. Uh, there are two uh, of these side missions. I don't think I'm going to send my ships on those yet uh, because we've got a couple of other missions to deal with first. We've got Harm Rum, which seems like it's going to be a relatively small one. Um, because it's only going to get me 6,900 in cash, but it does get nine uh, prestige points. Uh, so I feel like that's probably going to be a small one. That's what we're going to do next before we get into this big one down here uh, in the Grand Bahamas, which is also a part of the Harm Rum mission. Um, so obviously there's two phases to that, and they both kind of have the same deal. Your recon reconnaissance squad has determined time and place ideal for interception of an enemy ship, one of the ones terrorizing our supply lines. So there's two uh, separate missions involved. So we'll deal with this one. Then we'll probably send a couple on some uh, of these side missions along with taking our uh, ships into the big one. But before we do that, we've got 100,000 in gold available. So I want to look at possible upgrades for each of my ships. Um, we can take 280 uh, in total into this next one. And uh, I believe we've got, is this uh, 100 here? And uh, well, let's just take a look. So this is what we're able to take. It's going to give us 150 and 150. So really... We're probably just looking at taking Murderous Henry and uh, Surprise. Actually, uh, Murderous Henry and Undefeatable are probably the two we're going to take into this battle because we don't have a lot of room for anything else. We could take the HMS Darby, so maybe that's what we'll do here. Um, so we're taking on some American ships. Probably nothing really fantastic to deal with. So let's go ahead and look at what we're going to do with uh, Murderous Henry and Undefeatable. First of all, let's see if there's anything we can do to upgrade to better guns. It appears not. We've actually got Armstrong guns already there, and that's the only ones we can go with here. So, um, upgrades. Let's scroll all the way down. We've got a double shot module. I. Uh, Extreme times require extreme measures, so the enemy will wipe your ship at a distance they can reach. Uh, don't let them reach you at all. A double charge module. Lower initial ball speed means lower armor piercing, but who cares on that pistol shot distance? It gives an option to doubles in close quarters. Boarding equipment. Uh, axes, ropes, and hooks, grenades, all stuff you need to improve. Crew boarding performance. Does, do not include body bags. That actually might be really helpful to have. Uh, structure repair kit, uh, sail repair kit, leverage assisted rudder tackle gives me rudder turn speed 20%. That might actually be really helpful. Um, and that's a relatively cheap upgrade to get. Let's go ahead and do that. This one here we have the lightweight gun carriages. I'm looking to see if there's a number two to that one. It doesn't appear there is. Streamlined hull gives more capacity, optimized rig, maneuverability. Uh, I think I might go with that boarding equipment for my third upgrade on that one. And then the other thing we need to do is we need to look at the size of the crew. I know it's not exactly ideal to have this many, but we are going to go ahead and keep them at 250 just in case we choose to do any boarding. All right, and then undefeatable, we don't have any upgrades on so far. Here's the early copper she thing. It gives me acceleration bonus. Uh, that might be really helpful. Let's go ahead and get that. We've got some bonuses to the hull, doubled hull frames. That'll reduce capacity, though, and I don't really want to do that. Uh, streamlined hull, sails rising, close hull capacity, uh, rudder turn speed 20%. Let's definitely get that upgrade. 
and we can do the lightweight gun carriages on this one as well. That would allow me even greater capacity on crew. Uh, but I feel like I like the idea of the boarding equipment on this one too. So uh, let's go up just a, a little bit on the crew. Obviously, that's going to slow me down and, and hurt acceleration, things like that, but that's okay. All right, those are the two ships we're going to take into this thing. We could take HMS Darby, so let's um, take a look at them. Uh, they're a troop ship, so that's really not at all helpful. I think Rayo's too big. All right, we're going to take those two. Here we go. <clears throat> Sir, I think we've bitten off more than we can chew because our reconnaissance groups are the laziest monkeys in this hemisphere. It's definitely not a single enemy warship. It's two of them. That's okay. I'm not too worried about that. I'll take two on two. I think there's no shame in retreating. Really, sir? No, we are not retreating. What are we facing here? I'm really not all that worried about this. I do want to get one behind the other if that's at all possible. Actually, we're going to go this way, it seems. So this guy's got 195, so I'm not too worried about that. I think I can take him. We just got to wait and see what the other one is. But for now, what I want to do is I want to get get one ship behind the other. So we're kind of maneuvering together. We'll get Undefeatable right behind Murderous Henry. So Murderous Henry's kind of waiting while Undefeatable gets there, I guess is what's happening. We've both got solid shot right now. So once again, just... Uh, to reiterate, I'm still learning at all this. I appreciate all your great comments, all your feedback. Uh, my apologies if I don't seem to be learning it fast enough. Uh, but I am starting to get the hang of this a little bit. And we are uneasy, so um, at some point we'll go back in and try it again a little harder. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn this way. We seem to have the wind in our favor at the moment. We'll let him get into my range. And when I say him, I understand that ships are hers. It's just a, a thing I do when I play war games. I always refer to the enemy as him. So we're just about to where we're going to get him in, in our range here. Let's turn a little bit. Oh, we're going to lose him that way. We're going to have to get a little closer this way. There we go. So we're bouncing off so far. We did get a little bit on his sails. Let's see if we can aim down a little lower on this guy. See if that helps at all. I haven't seen his other ship yet. Everything's reflecting off him right now. Let's go ahead and see if we can go for the sails. I think that's the way we want to do this. There we go. That's working. Pretty good uh, first volley as far as bringing his sails down. Let's see if we can continue that. Nice. Now we gotta be a little careful here because of the way he's turning, we're gonna kinda lose the wind. So I think I might be better off to go this way. And we'll probably have to switch over to solid shot. We can get one more with undefeatable on the sails. Alright, 
right, let's be careful here because we don't want to be firing across our own ship. Which is just exactly what we just did. Stop. Bouncing off the side, so let's see if maybe aiming up a little higher helps. on here murderous Henry our guns aren't ready on that side oh we haven't turned off darn it <laughs> there we go all right we're still causing damage to the sails even with a solid shot Let's see if we can get a hit on this guy I'm still trying to figure out exactly the best way to go about firing at him when everything's bouncing off. There we go. Oh, we just took out a bunch of his crew. Alright, let's turn this way. Same deal here. Turn off the uh, the right side firing. I'm just trying to, to keep going back and forth with the wind instead of going toward him. Let's be careful here. There we go. Now we're causing some damage into the armor on that thing. This will be interesting. You know what? Undefeatable. Shall we board? Let's. Safeguard surrendered. Okay. Well, that's better. <laughs> that works. Let's get the sails down here for a second. Oh, that's it? That's all there was to that? I thought they said there were two ships. Maybe that was him talking about me. All right. Well, those are the kinds of missions we like to see. Nice and simple like that. I don't expect they're all going to go that well. Uh, but, hey, I like it. Let's see here. Um... USS Safeguard captured, undefeatable, lost 36 men. Uh, that's unfortunate, but we did take a ship. Uh, Horatio Nelson is a captain now. Captured a bunch of muskets. We grabbed a 28-gun ship. Uh, and some rum, I would guess, huh? Yeah? All right, so we need a little repair to undefeatable. Only nine, not a big deal. We're still above optimal on crew. Murderous Henry's still above optimal on crew. Surprise, if we're able to use surprise, could definitely use a, a boost to crew we'll go ahead and just do that uh, even though we may not be using surprise on this next mission and so let's just take a look at the other harm rum mission and all, what all we're able to take into it okay so we've got 280 available to us that'll be uh, murderous henry 
undefeatable, and that leaves us room for 60. So we could probably take something like the War Spite. Uh, that'll give us 114 guns, 731 men. We're going to be up against, it looks like, uh, both the French, or is that Spanish? That's, uh, yep, okay. We're going to be looking at the alliance here, and two ships, it appears, we'll be facing this time. Captain, our uh, offense pre uh, preparations are in peak, and latest supplies have to be uh, have to being gently escorted to Georgia's shores. You have to send an armed vessel to meet with large merchant that carry a large amount of rum for our needs. Nothing outstanding, but we expect some rebels activity on your way. So that'll be next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Drop a like, leave a comment, and we will see you again tomorrow with the second part of the Harm Rum mission.